Hey guys, welcome to another YouTube video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys an updated version of my previous YouTube video, known as the Team Pad Changer video, that actually kind of blew up. 10k views over the span of probably three years has been the best I've ever done on YouTube, so I'm absolutely so excited for it. Um, anyways. Without further ado, what we have in this video today is a unique default team chat. I mean, I got team change pad. They're defaults, okay? I'm going to show you guys how to use those without the script. You do not need the script anymore, but you can add it in the script if you want to see what these do and respawn you when you switch teams. So, first off, we're going to show you guys the unique one. The easy one, and the one Roblox provides for you guys with no scripting needed, is the spawn pad. And you can find the spawn pad inside of model and spawn, or when you first open up a base plate, one big one will be in the middle of your map. Okay? Um, now, you need two teams. Okay? One team that is one name and a color and a team that is a different name and a different color make sure for both teams idle assignable in the data category is turned off or unchecked you do not want idle assignable turned on it is turned on by default default so turn it off get that out of here we don't want it now once you have done that you're gonna go to your spawn pads all the way down to teams, you will find allow team change on touch, which is exactly what it says, allows the team change on touch. So anytime somebody touches that pad, they're going to change to that team. Make sure neutral is unchecked during this or else it will not work. You need neutral unchecked and they are default checked, I believe. I believe so. I don't know. And then your team color needs to be matching the exact color of the team that you want that pad to put you on. So if you want to go on blue team, you would change this color to lapis because that is the color of my blue team. Okay. Um, and same with red. Now, for the advanced portion of this video, where you will see somebody respawn when they walk into a part... Here we go. So, you need to build anything that you would like, and you need a specific part that this person is going to touch to switch their team. Once you have that specific part, you're going to go down to the collision tab, and you're going to turn off can collide. You are going to keep can touch on. You must have can touch on. Okay? Um... Unless you want them to collide with the object, you can always turn that on. But if you want them to easily pass through, turn off can collide. Same with both parts. Okay, it's easier just to make one and then copy and paste it. It saves you all the time. Now, you need to add a script. And inside of this script, right, you need to follow exactly what I type out. So, script dot parent dot touched connect function and inside of the function you can put whatever you want but I'm going to do P for part or just part and then enter inside of this you need to check if part is actually a humanoid so local player equals game dot players Dot. No, actually, get player from character, so it's going to be the uh, colon before, well, bef instead of the period, sorry about that. And then you're going to do part dot parent inside of there. Now, you're going to go down, if player, then, so that's checking if it's a player, then it will put you on the team. So, if player, then, player dot team color equals brick color dot new 
um, parentheses, quotation marks, and the color of your team. So lapis, right? Make sure you have the right team color in here because that's the team that will put them on. Now you need to enter down and then you will type player colon load character and that will respawn them just like that. So without further ado, let's test the scripts one more time. And you can see how I made Roblox team change pads, which is way more easy than you think. Guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Every subscription counts, and it means an absolute ton to me when you subscribe. Or even like the video. Or even comment. Whatever you do to interact with this video, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Guys, thank you for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.